Ooh, the Lakers are looking to turn to the college ranks to fill their open head coaching job. ESPN reported that they're expected to make a massive long-term contract offer to UConn head coach Dan Hurley. Our New York Post college basketball reporter Zach Braziller knows all things Huskies, and he knows all things Hurley. Zach, this news just absolutely came out of nowhere. It was like J.J. Riddick, J.J. Riddick, and now – Hurley to Hollywood is looking like it could be a thing. Uh, we know what he's done in the college ranks, but the NBA is a different beast. So where did this news come about, and what is it about Coach, Coach Hurley that makes the Lakers front office feel like he's the man for this job? Look, he's 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 done it every you know he's done it at the high school level. He turned St. Benedict's Prep in Newark into a national powerhouse. You know, worked his way up the college ranks to where now he's won back-to-back -back titles at UConn. I mean, he's he's a terrific coach. He's adaptable. Um, you've seen it with kind of the adjustments he's made after the first few years with UConn, where they didn't, you know, where they had some struggles in the NCAA tournament, and now to just be so dominant the last two years. We all know the lineage. His brother was a, a superstar player, coach at Arizona State. His dad is considered one of the great coaches you know, at any level of all time, Bob Hurley Sr. Um, you know, I've talked to some people who said this, their talks have been going on for a few weeks, that Hurley is definitely interested. Um, i still not necessarily sold he's going to go, but there's clearly mutual interest here. There, there's no question about that. And it's the Lakers, you know. It's, you know, it's not like he's leaving UConn to coach the Washington Wizards. It's the Los Angeles Lakers. It doesn't really get any bigger than that. Um, you know, uh, a franchise like that going to throw big money at you. I mean, I, I think anyone would listen um, at any, any level. You know, it's kind of funny. It's 20 years ago where Coach K, there was that flirtation, you know, with Coach K, and he ended up staying at Duke. Um, so, but yeah, man, a, an absolute blockbuster. UConn's got a really good team coming back next year. Probably not quite as good as this year, the year, the year before, but a very good team that people think they have a shot to three-peat. Um, it's going to be fascinating to see how this kind of works out here. So there's money and then there's Lakers money. Uh, what did the sources say what a, a massive long-term uh, deal could look like, could potentially look like? You know, someone suggested it could be up to 150 mil. Um, you've heard, you know, somewhere around 15 to 17 per year. Um, you know, it's, I think Kentucky, when when Kentucky was interested in him, they had, there was some maybe talks of paying him as much as twelve. Um, it's it's, it's going to be you know crazy money. Not that he necessarily needs the money; he makes millions as it is. But you know when we start talking about you know one hundred fifty million, I mean that's that's just delirious money. Um, you know, one person basically said it's you know it's if his wife is willing to do it. He's gone. Now we don't know if she is. We, you know, he had talked about, you know, her and you know, she's 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 a Jersey girl and um has a family. Uh, his son was, you know, a a walk on on the on the team um this year or for the last few years. So you obviously have that in the mix as well. Um you know, I, I really think it could go either way. I do. I I'm not sold that he's definitely gone, but uh, I'm not sold that this is not that's something that's not going to happen either. I mean, they they've been talking for a few weeks now, so there's obviously a lot of smoke here. Happy wife, happy life, but baby, for 150 mil, we got to get up out of here. Uh, oh man, just imagine what that what that ring or, or or that that gift to give her to get if she okay's uh, them going out to uh, L.A. Uh, when we talk about college coaches making that jump from the NCAA ranks to the NBA, they have to gel with the NBA players and the stars. LeBron James showed him love back in April when Coach was on J.J. Riddick's podcast. Uh, do you think LeBron started campaigning for Hurley back in April? And does it look like he has uh, LeBron's blessings? Yeah, look, I mean, it's LeBron James, you know, so – I don't think um, and we all know he there's also the stuff where he could opt out and, you know, Bronny, what happens in the draft. But, yeah, look, uh, I don't think the Lakers do this without at least knowing LeBron would would back this move. You know, um, 
I don't think there's any question about that. Um, you know, I, I don't think this is a situation where LeBron is like caught off guard when he sees the Woj tweet this morning, like so many of us were. Let's put it that way. The Lakers select Bronny James and Dan Hurley's son in the draft this year if, they, if he goes out there. Uh, let's go back to talking about how he uh, turned down the Kentucky job back in April. He's yet to get a contract extension done with UConn. So what's the holdup with the long-term deal with the Huskies? You know, he addressed it yesterday. There was there was a UConn access with local reporters and, you know, kind of played down the significance of that just because – you know, he's been so busy trying to form out a roster. We all know how crazy the transfer portal is, and UConn has been busy um, landing some good players. And, you know, obviously his the, the stars from last year's team are in the, are in the draft process. And um, Alex Caravan was kind of weighing staying back or, you know, going pro. He decided to come back. Um, so, you know, I, I don't I don't think this is a, con a ploy to get necessarily – get more money out of UConn. I, I think it's something he's generally interested in. And I don't think it's a situation where UConn's like haggling over money. I think it's, you know, it's one of those like, you know, let's let's figure out this roster first and then, and then attack that, um, you know, but I think this definitely could sweeten the pot if he decides to stay. So who has more pressure to get a deal done? UConn keeping, to keep him in stores or the Lakers to get him out to L.A.? I'd say the Lakers, just because, you know, you're unable to get this done, then kind of where do you go from here? It's pretty known he's their number one guy. Do you, you know, circle back with J.J. Redick, um, look at some other, you know, kind of recycled names? I, I would say it's the Lakers. Look, it's UConn. Kamani Young is the associate head coach, recruited most of that roster. You can make him the interim coach, even make him the permanent coach. He's a guy that is ready, in my opinion, for a head job. You also have Luke Murray, a terrific assistant, the son of uh, comedian Bill Murray. So, uh, like, UConn has had so much success. I'm not saying Hurley is replaceable, but they have guys that can at least fill in and, and, and know those guys and recruited those players. I would say the Lakers have more pressure. All right, Zach Brazilla, we're going to come back to you when the news is official or if it's not official. And then uh, if he does leave, we definitely got to talk about who UConn replaces him with when that becomes official as well. Uh, thanks for hopping on with us this morning, man. All right, man. Have a good one.